What is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of my Aston Villa Master League. In the last episode we had our first taste of Champions League football as we took on Atletico Madrid and actually pulled a 1-0 out of absolutely nowhere uh, which was fantastic. Now we've got we're, well, we're back in the Premier League after that 0-0 draw to Brighton at Villa Park. We've got Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium and then we are at Villa Park against West Ham United and then it's a trip back to the Champions League at Villa Park against FC Basel I believe. But before we jump into that insane fixture, we've got a game against Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium, which we'll be jumping into right now. And welcome everybody to the Emirates Stadium for today's fixture against Arsenal. And as you can see the lineup there, they have a few unfamiliar faces within their lineup. Obviously, Antonio, by the look of things, has signed from West Ham over to Arsenal. Um, not that I think it's a great signing for Arsenal, but I, I do like Antonio as, as a footballer. Um, I just think when they've got the likes of Lacazette and um, and uh, Aubameyang, it seems like a strange signing for them to make. But they're going to kick this one off today at the Emirates Stadium. 11 minutes in now and we have a throw in it's Jack who's going to find Douglas Luiz in the centre of the field. Douglas Luiz now to Eze, Eze with a nice little turn find Lopez, Lopez now back into Eze, Eze marching forward, can he get a strike? Yes he can but it's a good save from the Arsenal goalkeeper. Still on the front foot here, Aston Villa are as Douglas Luiz looks to march forward just approaching the 80 minute mark, it's Eze knocking it past one trying to go around Caballos but it's a nasty tackle and the ref is going to bring it back for a free kick. Now we've been the very like the most dominant team in this game so far. Um, Arsenal haven't really troubled us as of yet. Eze running the show in the middle of midfield. And I think that's actually turned out to be quite a good tackle there from Caballos. Um, but I think it's just the nature of the tackle which the ref has brought it back for. It's going to be Lopez over the free kick though now. 18 minutes deep for Aston Villa. Can he put it on target? No, he can't. It whistles over the bar and it's going to be a goal kick to Arsenal after that shot on goal. Arsenal finally with a bit of possession now in our half as they look to march forward. It's Danny Caballos with a strike and it's an easy catch for Martinez. Finally, Arsenal are able to put their two cents into the game as they look to pass it forward. This time it comes back to Danny Caballos and this time it's just wide off the target. But Danny Caballos is definitely the main man for Arsenal at the moment. As you can see, they've got a foul for a very, very, very... Um, well, pretty much nothing. Then they play a nice three ball there to Danny Caballos who just swings it wide off the post. But they're definitely asking questions of us now. We have another free kick this time, 38 minutes deep into the game and can Lopez put this one on target, he steadies himself up, he's going to try it and it's just over the bar this time from Lopez. 40 minutes deep now and we find a breakaway, it's Douglas Luiz with a beautiful through ball, Ollie Watkins holding off the defender, Rob Holding coming across, it's going to be Ollie Watkins and somehow the Arsenal goalkeeper has spilt it into the back and the net and what an absolute mare for the man in goal should really be keeping those ones out but Ollie Watkins doesn't care as he runs over to the fans to celebrate and it's another goal onto his ever growing tally for the season and he has just been prolific up front for us once again Douglas Luizzo with a fantastic interception and the ball through to Ollie is picture perfect Ollie using his strength and his power to get into the box and just finishes it past the goalkeeper who should really be doing better seconds left of this first half we have possession of the ball currently leading one nil it's a ball from jack now over to Eze. Eze finds ollie watkins ollie watkins with the three ball to find Eze, but he can't quite make it ball's now back with the arsenal goalkeeper he's going to go to mustafi out wide and the ref is going to blow for half time we're going one nil leaders that ollie watkins goal just on the edge of half time is enough to put us in front and uh yeah it's been quite an even contest so far Second half at the Emirates Stadium, then off underway, and it's going to be us to start the half. Our Bertra finding Lopez. Lopez now with a poor pass forward to try and pick out Eze. Arsenal have possession of the ball again and can look to find a, find a counter attack very early on in the second half. It's Jamie Vardy. Jamie Vardy using his strength to knock it back to Antonio. Antonio now finds Danny Caballos with a strike. It's going to fall back to him. Another strike, and it's a great save from Martinez dipping that wide. And like I said, Danny Caballos has been the main man for Arsenal. Hector Bellerin flicking it into the box, and we can regain possession. 
We now break in from the defence. It's a ball forward to Ollie Watkins into the inside to find Samansky. Samansky with the ball straight through the centre of the defence to pick out Ize. Ize now one on one with the Arsenal goalkeeper. And once again, Ize coming up trumps for Aston Villa. And what a signing Ize has been for us. He has been fantastic, giving us a new dimension in the midfield. This time, Samansky though with a beautiful ball forward, cutting it throat pass there straight through the defence. And that's two goals now, which Arsenal have been caught out by. And this time, Time Eze just sticks it into the corner to make it 2 0. Arsenal now in possession, trailing 2 0 to us. It's Wilson who's going to find a ball through to Jamie Vardy. Jamie Vardy now picking out a pass to Antonio Antonio with a strike. And it's just ever so wide of the target. We were trying to block the ball. Don't really think we get a touch on it, so it is going to be a goal kick. But it's nice play here from Arsenal. Jamie Vardy picking out the pass to Antonio. Antonio having the strike, but it is just wide of the target this time. And Antonio hasn't really troubled us so far in this game. Still a very even game as we approach the 16 minute mark. It's a ball forward to Eze now looking for a pass. He's going to pick out Jordan Ayew, the new man who's come on for Ollie Watkins. Now it's Buendia, Buendia back to Eze. Eze with a strike and it's just wide of the target. We've made some changes but it didn't give me the option to show you who it was. So Buendia and Jordan Ayew have come onto the field and there you can see both of them getting involved. This time though Eze's shot just wide of the target. 65 minutes now and Arsenal have it at the back with Rob Holding. It's going to go to Mustafi. Mustafi now awful pass forward. We're going to break through. It's going to be Jordan Ayew now. Can he finish it to make it three? And yes, he can. And please tell me what the Arsenal defence is doing here because I would love to know so that our team doesn't do it in future. What an awful pass that is from Mustafi, I believe it is. Passes it straight forward. Eze picks it up. Ball forward to Jordan Ayew. Jordan Ayew there just tapping it around the goalkeeper to make it 3-0. 87 minutes remaining on the clock. It's going to be a ball forward now to Antonio for Arsenal. Ball forward. It's a strike and it's a great save again from Martinez. Keeping that clean sheet safe and secure for Aston Villa. Final few minutes remaining. Arsenal look for the long ball forward. Windle leaping doesn't quite get to it. Bertrand coming to cover it up. And it's going to finish 3-0 to Aston Villa. Oli Watkins, Eze and Jordan Ayew all on the score sheet for today. And it's been a fantastic performance. Very even game to be fair. But we uh, we just counted on their mistakes and we made them pay for it. Anyway, scores on the doors. We beat Arsenal 3-0 away from home. Brighton lost 3-1 to Man City. Leicester beat Bournemouth 2-0 away from home. Liverpool beat Man West Ham United sorry, 1-0 away from home. Burnley and Crystal Palace drew 2-2. So quite a lot of away wins there for the away teams, a bit like the season this year. Uh, Wolverhampton Wanderers beating Fulham 1-0 away, Tottenham beating Brentford 3-0 away from home, Sheffield United and Derby drawing 1-1, Manchester United beating Newcastle United 3-0 at home and Everton romping home against Chelsea 4-0 there. Uh, Man United still top, then us in second, Liverpool in third, Sheffield United are falling down but they're still in fourth and Derby, Brighton and Crystal Palace at the bottom. Next fixture in the Premier League is against West Ham. Welcome everybody to the glorious Villa Park for today's fixture against West Ham United. And uh, yeah, the, the less said about the result in real life, the better. I uh, don't want to be thinking about that one for too long. But hopefully today we can get some uh, retribution and we can uh, we can get one over on West Ham. With, I believe we're the only team in the league so far not to concede a goal. Uh, so hopefully that will long continue. But let's get this one underway. Straight away we look to pressed West Ham United, it's Buendia and Jack Grealish linking up really well, Buendia now getting battered there in the centre of the field but somehow it falls to Oli Watkins, Oli Watkins now to Szymanski, Oli Watkins trying to get his shot away and uh, he was being pulled and stuff so I'm not surprised that the shot was horribly wide but it's a nice play once again from Aston Villa, Buendia doing ever so well uh, to find a ball to Oli Watkins, it does take a deflection but then it's a nice bit of passing work from Szymanski and Oli Watkins, the shot just isn't quite on target uh, but it's promising stuff early on from Aston Villa, Oli Watkins just not able to convert this time. Declan Rice now with a free kick for West Ham. It's fizzed into the box. Mark Noble leaping. We win the ball, but it's going to fall to them at the back post. And it's thankfully an easy shot for Martinez to pick up. Halla now with the ball. It's back to Lanzini. Lanzini goes out wide to Mark Noble. Ball for now Halla. Halla with a strike. And it's just a tiny bit wide of the target. And West Ham really applying some pressure um, after our early like spell of possession. It's been all, um, all West Ham since then. Passing the ball really nicely. This time Halla not being able to put his shot on target. West Ham once again with a free kick, Declan Rice over it. It's going to fizz at this one just at the edge of the box. It's Pablo Fornals now on the ball, knocking it back. 
Are they going to find anything? It's going to be a strike from from a long way out. And thankfully it just goes over the bar. But uh, still all West Ham. Nothing new really to, uh, to tell you about. It's just West Ham putting a lot of pressure on us. And this time we get fortunate again. Finally, we look to march forward. Ollie Watkins now with a pass to Buendia. Buendia out wide to Samansky. Samansky now trying to get his foot over it. It's a shot, but it's an easy save for Leno. Finally, we have the bit between our teeth. It's Ollie Watkins now playing it out to Samansky. Ball over the top now to Ollie Watkins. Ollie Watkins flicks it to Jack Grealish. Jack Grealish now diving into the box shot. It's blocked. And it's going to go out for a corner. But finally, we're starting to put a bit of pressure on West Ham. It's took about 30 minutes for us to get back into this game. But we're finally playing a bit of nice football. Jack, obviously, being the talisman for Aston Villa with a strike there. And it does take a ricochet off the West Ham defender. When Deer now over the corner, flicking it into the box. We're leaping. We don't get anything on it. It's going to fall to Jack. Jack can't get anything on it. It's going to fall to McGinn now. Can McGinn recycle this at four? Aston Villa is going to knock it to Gilbert. Gilbert now into Buendia, Buendia holding up play, knocking it to Douglas Louise now forward to Jack, Jack back to Buendia, Buendia now through to Jack Grady, Jack Grady's trying to get a strike, it's blocked and they pick up possession. We're still looking for that go-ahead goal, it's with John McGinn now, centre of midfield, knocks it out to Samansky, Samansky through to Ollie Watkins, Ollie Watkins and it's blocked again. Some heroic defending today from West Ham United as they're blocking every single shot we try and have, but once again, marching forward, playing some nice football which is what I like to see, nice little cutting at passes there, but this time it is blocked and it's going to go out for yet another corner, let's see if we can convert this. going to be Buendia over the corner kick then fitting it back into the box John McGinn leaping wins the header but it doesn't fall to us it's going to fall back to John McGinn though who intercepts the ball it's going to be Douglas Louise with a shot and it goes out wide West Ham now have possession in their half it's a ball forward to find Halla we win the ball knocking it down to Buendia but it falls to Martin Noble instead it's going to be Zalanzini Lanzini with a strike which takes a deflection and thankfully Martinez is there to watch it all the way 44 minutes on the clock, it's with Diop, Diop goes forward to Halla, can we win this header, no we can't, Dalla's going to bring it down now to find Pablo Fornals who's going to try to march forward, Mendel coming across and winning the ball, we're going to knock it back to Tyro Mings, Tyro Mings now with a big boot out wide and the ref is going to blow for half time, so we're going nil nil. it's been a very very decent game from both sides, obviously I think we've had the better of the chances but uh, still no goals in this one. Second half now underway and it's going to be West Ham to start the action off, passing it around. Noble now in the centre of midfield, it's going to knock it out to Lanzini, Lanzini out wide to Ashley Young, the ex villaman straight up to Halla, and thankfully we win the header but it's not cleared further enough, it's going to be back to Noble now who finds Halla, Halla now with a strike and it's just wide of the target. And uh, yeah, very poor start from Aston Villa there, we tried to clear the danger and for some reason headed it straight back in, Eze uh, didn't quite cotton on to where the pass was going, they knock it forward to Haller and then Haller with the strike just wide of the target, uh, yeah so early pressure there from West Ham. Still West Ham look to press us, it's a ball in our half, it's with Philip Anderson now. Philippe, Philippe Anderson, sorry, he's going to knock it to Declan Rice. Declan Rice approaching Declan Rice with the ball through to Halla Halla with the strike again, and it's a save from Martinez, and he has been the MVP for us this season. Substitution time then now as Ayu and Lopez are going to make their way onto the field. Ball with Jack Grealish, it's knocked up top to Jordan Ayu. We're just approaching the 70 minute mark, 20 minutes left to play to ball through to Samansky. It's cleared, but somehow it takes a ricochet. It's going to be Samansky now marching forward. Is he going to get a strike away? Yes, he is, but it's a good save from the West Ham keeper. They look to clear the danger and force an attack of their own it's Felipe Anderson now out wide marching forward Eze on the chase but he's not getting anywhere near him it's a ball through and thankfully John McGinn's there to intercept the pass we can look to counter attack them now and it's end to end football now as Eze marches forward it's a ball through it's going to be with Jordan Ayew using his strength and Jordan Ayew finding the back of the net 73 minutes in and it was end to end stuff there we attacked them they looked to attack and we caught them on the counter attack there Jordan, are you finishing it off for Aston Villa to put us 1-0 in front of him in a game where it could have gone either way, but once again, we managed to find that goal, and it's a ball from Eze straight through to Jordan Ayew, and then he just finishes it with absolute style. Five minutes left to play. We look to march forward. Mendel now finding a pass to Eze. Eze now picking it up in the centre of midfield, marching forward. He's going to knock it past the defender, and see you later. Kidu. He's going to try a strike, but it's an easy save for the goalkeeper. 90 minutes left on the clock, Jack Grealish with the ball, it's a ball forward now to Jordan Ayew, now with Eze, Eze back to Jordan Ayew, can we find a goal late on here, it's going to be easy now, ball through to find Ayew but it's just overhit, 
and they're going to regain possession in their half. It's a big ball forward, but the ref's going to blow for full time, and we pick up all three points in today's fixture at home against West Ham United, and that was a battle. Uh, not too many chances for ourselves, but the one chance that we did have, we stuck away, and that's another three points in a clean sheet. So scores on the doors, we beat West Ham United 1-0 at home, Arsenal beat Manchester City 2-0 away from home, Brighton beat Bournemouth 1-0 away from home and Liverpool beat Burnley 1-0 at Anfield. It's then Fulham who beat Crystal Palace 1-0 away from home as well. Uh, so once again, the away team's doing well. Wolverhampton Wanderers beat Brentford 3-1 at home, Tottenham beat Sheffield United 4-1 at home. Manchester United beat Derby County 1-0, Newcastle United beat Everton 3-0 at home, and then Chelsea beat Leicester 3-1 away from home. So some big results there, um, especially ones away from home. Manchester United still top, and we still have an impeccable goal record. We've not even conceded one goal in the league at the bottom of the table. Brentford, Crystal Palace, and Derby County. We move on to FC Basel now in the Champions League. And welcome everybody back to Villa Park for this Champions League fixture. And uh, we did really well so far in this competition. Obviously, we managed to pick up a win against Atletico Madrid somehow um, in that 1-0 victory. Uh, not that we were the better team. We were under the cosh for a lot of the game. And uh, somehow, we still managed to come out with the three points in the group stage, which is fantastic. That's one of the big joints down. We also have Inter Milan as well that we need to pick up points against, which is going to be an extremely hard game. Um, but Basel is probably the easily, um, so, sorry, the most evenly matched team for us to play against. Um, maybe we have this slight advantage against Basel. Um, obviously, we are at home today, so I, I can I can see us getting a victory today and another three points on top of the win against Atletico Madrid. That's six points that should keep us top of the table, um, which would be really nice uh, going into that Atletico, uh, the Inter Milan game, sorry. Line up for ourselves, Maximano in goal, Bartra, Konza, Weindel and Matty Cash in defence. Uh, Lopez, Chowdhury and Buendia in midfield. Saren Campbell out wide and then Jordan Ayew up top. The lineup for Basel, I'll let it go on screen, but I'm not going to pronounce their names because I will probably pronounce them completely wrong. And uh, there's nothing worse. I'll look at the right winger. You think I've got a chance of saying his name? Not a chance. Not a chance in hell. Anyway, obviously, we are the home team here at Villa Park. We do have to play this fixture again, obviously, at their ground. Uh, but if we can pick up the win today at home, then that would definitely put us in a good stead going forward in this Champions League competition. We have a corner kick early on Buendia over it flicking into the box. Todd Campbell leaping doesn't get anything on. It's going to fall to the edge of the box to Windle. Can he bring it down? Nice chest control looking for a pass. Managing not to get intercepted there which looked very lightly. It's going to be Lopez now. He's going to find Buendia. Buendia now shaping up for a shot and is blocked. Falling to Todd Campbell. Nice little cut inside strike again and this time it's just wide of the target. But we are applying a lot of pressure to Basel early on and you can see how much this competition means to the lads today as um, a win is needed if we are going to progress forward. Todd Campbell this time not being able to swing it into that far corner though as it remains nil-nil but it's early action from Aston Villa. Basel now with a throw in in our half, they knock it down looking to march forward on the wing. Todd Campbell chasing, not going to get near it so it's going to be Chowdhury is going to come to cover. It's flicked into the box, flicked at the back post, and it's hit the post. And can you believe it? Early chance there for Basel to put us 1 0 down, but they hit the post. We now have it in the centre of the park. It's a pass out wide to Lopez. Lopez knocks it up to Jordan Ayu. It's a ball out wide now to Sar. And look at the pace of him coming from deep to put it across the box to find Puendia. And 13 minutes deep, we finally find the opening goal in this fixture. And Buendia getting his first goal in the Champions League, I believe it is. And what a fantastic one it is. Beautiful play from Saar and Lopez there. Um, ball from Jordan Ayew just flicking it out wide. Saar picking it up, using his pace. A little cut across the box. And there's Buendia arriving to make it 1-0. We have the bit between our teeth. It's out wide to Todd Campbell now. Back to Windle. Windle looking for a pass. He's going to pick out Buendia. Buendia into Chowdhury. Chowdhury with a shot. But it's an easy save for the Basel goalkeeper. It's still all Aston Villa. We pick up the ball in the centre of the park. Lopez finds Buendia. Ball through to Jordan Ayew. Jordan Ayew with a nice little flick back there to find Saar. Saar going to cut it across the box again. And Buendia's there to tap it home to make it 2 and two identical goals and we have definitely figured out the Achilles heel 
of Basel. They cannot defend from the right hand side, having a torrid time trying to deal with Saar. Nice little pass there from Jordan Ayo. Nice little cut inside from Saar, and he just cuts it across to find Wendier to make it two. Approaching half time, and the score is still fixed at 2 0. Basel knocking it around in their own half. Dangerous play, but they look to go out wide now as they look to march forward, but they have a better thought and go back to the defence. Maybe just trying to hold out and go into the half time break. Only 2 0 down. Obviously, those two goals from Buendia are identical to each other, uh, but nevertheless, it puts us 2 0 up in this Champions League fixture. Champions League fixture back underway then. 61 minutes deep and we are looking for a third. It's out wide now to Todd Cantwell. Little dink over the top to pick out Jordan Ayew. Back out wide to Todd Cantwell. He's going to float one into the box. Leaping with a header. And I think it was Buendia but the header's just wide off the target this time. Looking for his third. Oh actually no. It took a deflection. It's going to be Buendia over the corner now. Flicking into the box. Can we make this count? No we can't. It's a big punch. It's going to fall to Windle. Windle now finds Todd Cantwell. Todd Cantwell shaping up for a shot. And it's another save. And yet another corner to Aston Villa. We've definitely come out in the second half to put this game to bed. It's a punch there which falls up to the edge of the box to Windle who just headers it down to Todd Campbell who shapes up for the shot and it looks like it was going over the barb to keep it just making sure as he pushes it over for yet another corner kick to Aston Villa. It's going to be Buendia over again for us, flicking it into the box. Can we get a goal from this Chadwick leaping? Doesn't get to it. It's going to fall to Lopez. Lopez now looking for a pass to Matty Cash. Matty Cash to the edge of the box to find Chowdhury. Chowdhury holding up the play and he's going to knock it to Todd Campbell. Todd Campbell now to Windle. Windle now fizzing it back into the box and finally the danger has passed. 75 minutes deep now and Basel look to march forward. They haven't done too much of this in this game. It's a player I can't pronounce out wide being chased by Windle. It takes a deflection. They pick it up just in the edge of our box. Knocking it around nicely to pass forward. It's going to be a shot and another save from Moxamano. He hasn't had to make too many this game though. Stoppage time is upon us. They look to march forward for the last time in this game. It's a ball out wide. Can Tom well Todd Campbell come across and cover him? Yes, he can. What a tackle. Claiming for a free kick. I don't think they get anywhere anywhere near a free kick. There is a great tackle. And the ref blows for full time. We pick up a 2-0 victory here. Two goals from Brendia is enough to march us through in the Champions League competition. Scores on the doors and Champions League edition and I will leave the fixtures on screen for you to pause and have a look through if you're interested. Obviously we beat Basel 2-0 which is fantastic and into an Atletico Madrid draw which really could uh, bow well for us um, in this competition as one of those two I believe will have to go out for us to progress forward. Um, obviously picking up that win against Atletico Madrid it could be crucial so we currently sit top of the group with Inter just behind us. But that just about wraps up today's action. Fantastic result there at the end um, against Basel in the Champions League, which makes it two out of two and yet still to concede a goal. Uh, what a fantastic start for Aston Villa. Obviously, the changes that we made in defence, bringing Bertra in has really paid dividends, um, keeping you know so many clean sheets so far. Obviously, Martinez and Maximano playing a huge part in that role as well, making some crucial saves in quite a few games. Um, so it, it's absolutely fantastic yet that we haven't conceded a goal um, magical stuff from Aston Villa currently sitting second in the table uh, but joined on points against Manchester United I'm guessing they've just scored more goals than us but if you are enjoying this series please like comment and subscribe you always do it anyway so I don't need to keep saying it but I will anyway just for the culture of the video um, but if you are enjoying it uh, please stick around for more content and if you like the Aston Villa series on Pez please check out my Oxford United as well um, on FIFA my Oxford United career mode it's like a road to glory, uh, road to glory. Sorry, career mode, which is uh, which is really fun as well to uh, to create um, along with the Aston Villa one. Uh, but thank you for your continued support, and I will catch you in the next episode. Have a great day and goodbye. Fearless.